Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari, the first pilgrim. Jabir al-Ansari was a companion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and he is also regarded as a companion of the Ahl al-Bayt, including Imam Ali, Imam al-Hasan, Imam al-Hussein, Imam al-Sajjad, and Imam al-Baqir, peace be upon them. It is believed that he was among the Ansar and the Muhajireen in Medina. Sheikh Murtadha al-Ansari is a famous descendant of him. He was a prominent and contemporary Shia scholar in Fiqh and Usul. Jabir participated in the Battle of Badr and a number of other battles, which are called Ghazwa. This term refers to the battles of early Islam. He is highly regarded in well-known hadiths, and his reliability is accepted in Shia sources. Jabir was well aware of the Quran and Sunnah. Numerous hadiths were narrated from Jabir on the tafsir interpretation of Quran. He narrated many hadiths from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. His narrations of the Prophet's biography and history are considered as reliable and are referred to by all Islamic sects. The Imams of Ahl al-Bayt, peace be upon them, have directly and indirectly narrated hadiths of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, from Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari. Jabir ibn Abdullah had a teaching circle in Al-Masjid al-Nabawi. He also narrated hadiths and taught a number of people called the Tabi'un. These are the people who spoke to the companions of Rasulullah, but they did not meet him in person. Jabir ibn Abdullah considered Imam Ali as the criterion for judgment at the time of the Prophet. The hypocrites were known for their hatred towards Imam Ali. He advised the Ansar to raise their children to love Imam Ali, peace be upon him. Rasulullah held Jabir in high regard and would often visit him personally. At the time of the event of Karbala, Jabir was an old man living in Medina. When Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, addressed Aziz's army, he introduced Jabir as his witness. Jabir was the first one who visited Karbala on the 40th day after the martyrdom of Imam Hussein. Narrated from Atayya al-Awfi, who accompanied Jabir on his visit to Karbala, to visit the grave of al Hussein ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him. And when we entered Karbala, Jabir came near the bank of the river. He performed the major ablution, Ghusl, and wore his clothes and he spread perfume over his body. After that, he walked towards Imam Hussein's grave, remembering Allah. He then said to me, Make me touch the grave, and I made him do so. Thereupon, he fell over the grave unconscious. I sprinkled some water on him, and he regained consciousness. And then he cried three times, Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein. Addressing Al Hussein, peace be upon him, he said, Why is the beloved not responding to the call of the lover? But how can you respond while your veins have been severed and your body has been separated from your head? I bear witness that you are the offspring of the prophets and the son of the master of believers and the offspring of the companion of piety and the offspring of guidance and the fifth member of the people of the cloak and the son of the master of the chiefs, and the son of Fatima, the mistress of the woman. Jabir lived in the last year of his life near the Kaaba in Mecca. Jabir became blind during the last years of his life. He passed away in Medina. According to a group of historians and hadith narrators, Jabir passed away at the age of 94.